The United Way of Miami-Dade County and Fisher Island Philanthropic Fund made it possible for the Urban League of Greater Miami to conduct a robotics and STEM camp for the second year. This year it was extremely successful with the addition of an additional week. We added elementary school students and middle school and high school students to allow them to gain an increased knowledge and to support and stimulate STEM and robotics. The STEM and robotics camp made it possible for students to learn and for parents to get more intrigued and families to come together in the technology era. Funding from the United Way made possible for teachers of the Miami-Dade County Public School System who are certified with the Florida State of Florida, the Florida Department of Education, allowed them to engage with students in their local areas of Liberty City. In our low socioeconomic area where students are not afforded the opportunity to pay for classes which are very costly, students were able to participate free of charge on scholarships made possible through the Fisher Island Philanthropic Funding. My thoughts about the camp, first, firstly, when we began, some of the kids were, they wanted to be here, but they weren't sure that they could successfully put the robot together and actually create missions. Um, for me, the most, the, the part I liked most was every morning, Mr. Henley encouraged all the students. He gave a word of encouragement, which was amazing because you could see the changes on their faces after that word of encouragement. It began to make them believe more in themselves. I have a particular day when the word for the day was destiny, and Mr. Henley asked, what does destiny mean? and the students began to give their own definition and began to understand destiny and began to believe in themselves and know that they had a destiny for themselves. So that was just so, it was enlightening for me to see the, the change in the students from one moment to the next. And as an educator, I'm actually um, a director of guidance and counseling and the kids began to, you begin to hear the talks about furthering their education, going to college, what they wanted to major in, knowing now, oh my gosh, I'm 14 and there are other 14 year olds who have created programs, who have won competitions and have, you know, had greater expectations and aspirations of themselves. Um, another part that I really enjoyed were some of the kids that went to the side and spoke to Mr. Henley and said, hey, you know, I want to keep in touch with you. Do you have an email? Um, these are some of the things that I'm interested in in life. How can you help me? Even though you don't live here, are you willing to stay in touch? And what I loved is that Mr. Henley said, sure. Exchanged that information and made lifelong partnerships. So that was amazing to see the students come at a level, certain levels in, within their math and start the math problems and continue to work them through. Even when they felt like, I don't understand this, I haven't learned this yet, they took the time, got the instruction, worked it through and began to just, they were excited, they lit up and they wanted to come every day. It was more of a want. Um, they had an hour lunch break, they never took the hour lunch break, they ate, and they got up and they went right back to the lab and said, we have the break, but we want to go practice. We want to keep working. We want to get in our technical notebooks. We want to read over our notes. We, you know, we're ready for our quiz. We're encouraged. So to see students cut their break on their own to continue to work, it's just amazing from any standpoint, especially a standpoint of an educator. What I like most about the camp is we have new experiences because at first I do not like robots or technology. I'm into fashion and I want to be an entrepreneur, but this really opened my eyes to see what I can do and what I can't do. Because at first, I want to throw that robot on the floor. But Mr. Henley didn't want me to give up, so I tried and I really liked it and I really want to come back again next year to see what else I am capable of. I really enjoy the robotics class. I'm happy that um, all four, um, three of my sons was able to attend. A couple of them didn't like sci um, science. After the first couple of days of this robotic class, that's all they talked about, how much they wanted to be, a sci be into science. And so my thing is, um, 
I will keep them motivated throughout the year. What I like most about this camp is that my students have opportunity to be stimulated and enriched, and they have the, the atmosphere for um, expressing their knowledge, their interests, and being engaged in something completely different than the norm. Um, they are not often introduced to the STEM program, and this uh, program gives them a variety of aspects from the math, from the science, from the computer. It brings it all together. In fact, one of my students asked me uh, while we were waiting, uh, could we convert one of our portables <laughs> to have the robotic camp so that they can have this as an elective? Because she was exactly um, one of those students who tried it last year, did fairly well, but came back with a strong, strong tie to win. And she did. I'm proud of Amy. If the United Way of Miami-Dade County will consider refunding this program, this will allow the Robotics and STEM Can to operate next year for three weeks and possibly one week during the school semester or during the winter break for a one-week robotics camp at our neighboring schools. Thank you, Fisher Island. Thank you, Fisher Island. Thank you, Fisher Island. Thank you, Fisher Island. Thank you. Fisher Island. Thank you, Fisher Island. For making it possible for the Robotics and STEM Camp to serve 42 students from the Liberty City area.